Hi, I'm Derek Granath, Vice President of Product Marketing for Silver Peak Systems. Welcome to our multi-segment SD-WAN video series. This series of short videos is intended to provide you with everything you need to know about SD-WAN, but we're afraid to ask. In this segment, we'll define what is an SD-WAN. Let me start by redefining the job of the WAN. The job of the WAN is to connect users to their applications anytime, from anywhere, from any device, and to wherever those applications reside. But let's start by looking at the way we've built WANs for the past two plus decades. Branch offices, where more than 80% of business transactions are handled, were connected to a headquarters-based data center by a router over a leased line connection, usually MPLS. And that model was fine back then because all applications were hosted in enterprise data centers. Traffic was routed from sources to destinations based on TCP IP addresses, access control list tables, and complex routing protocols. All of the control functions were distributed across all of the routers. But traffic patterns have changed with the introduction of applications moving to the cloud. These could be enterprise apps that are now hosted in Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud, or software as a service apps like Salesforce.com, Workday, Office 365, Box, Dropbox, and even Facebook and more. Sending cloud traffic that is destined for the internet back to headquarters simply doesn't make sense. It adds delay that degrades application performance, and it consumes costly lease line bandwidth. Why not use the internet to reach apps that are hosted in the internet? This has driven the need for a more intelligent software-driven or software-defined model for the wide area network, an SD-WAN. Instead of routing traffic just based on addresses, an SD-WAN is application aware. It uses software to more intelligently route or steer traffic across the WAN based on the business requirements for an application. These include the priority of the application, the performance and security policies that are required and that must be enforced. An SD-WAN that has the right set of features also enables the ability to actively use the internet as a secure, reliable form of WAN transport. And even 4G LTE can be used in addition to broadband internet and MPLS services. The SD-WAN decouples the WAN transport services, sometimes called the data forwarding plane, from the applications and from the control function. This is a very different model than that used by the traditional router, where this was all combined in every device. Also with an SD-WAN, this control function, referred to as the control plane, is centralized. The quality of service and security policies that dictate how an application should be delivered to the user are defined centrally and programmed automatically to hundreds or even thousands of SD-WAN appliances at branch locations. This leads to more consistent, predictable application performance, as well as more consistent and improved security across the wide area network, the WAN. And with a software model, adding locations, adding applications, changing policies, and much more is so much easier than with the old router-centric model. In summary, an SD-WAN is a more intelligent, cloud-first way to build a WAN. It improves business productivity, and user quality of experience and accelerates business initiatives and has the potential to lower costs.